ligaments guide a muscle response in the sense that they are the ones that give us our spatial information. So without the ligaments, we could, we could work the muscles in any combinations and they don't know the difference in a certain way. They just know how to work how to do the contracting and releasing. It can be a shortening contraction or it can be a lengthening contraction. They're just moving where the bones are at that moment. But the ligaments are gonna tell the bones where they are. They're gonna tell the muscles. Gonna, the bones are gonna know where they are through the ligaments. And that's going to inform the muscles if they're in alignment or not if they're in balance. So in the yoga, one of the main things is we're doing things without the muscles being informed where they're moving the bones. You just know if you're shortening or lengthening, or if you're holding or letting go, but you're not getting the same kind of spatial information that the ligaments give. Another thing about ligaments, is that they are continuous with the fascia. So the fascial planes, um, fascia is around everything. And Ida Roth had a wonderful definition that has been told to me. I did not meet Ida Roth. That if you took everything out of the body, but the fascia, you would have the container of everything, but it would all be empty. And that's really great because it's the wrapping of everything that's differentiating and integrating. It also could be, um, you know, just tight, tight tissue, or it can be semi-mobile, uh, so that it's how you free structures, or it can be how you glue them together. <laughs> we have that quality in the fascia. Well, the ligaments take those fascia planes and direct them specifically. So when we're in the ligaments, we are specific spatially. So for example, if, I, if I'm like this and I'm going to do this, I don't really know where I am. I'm not hurting myself, but I don't know exactly where I am. I know grossly where I am. I have enough proprioception in my bones and muscles that I kind of know where I am. But when I go to the ligaments, I know exactly where I am. Can you see the change in specificity? Mm -hmm. Because the ligaments are continuous with the bones. They know where the bones are because they come out of the same tissue. And the tissue that went into the joint structure became ligaments and the other structures around the joint. When we get to muscles and we get to tendons, which are more continuous with muscle, we'll see that this is the spatial intent of the ligaments, but this is the Golgi tendon. This is the Golgi tendon. The tendon initiates the action. Without it, I'm kind of here. You see, I could be spatial, but I'm not so clear. See, I'm a little bit not so clear, but as soon as I bring in the, lig the tendon, mm -hmm. that works with ligament to create clarity. So when we get to muscles, that we, we coordinate this consciousness of being here, finding the spatial intent, and then the intent of movement. They're all slightly different structures.